For the ninth use case, we will create a monthly sales graph. However, in addition to monthly sales, we will also extract and display sales on just the first day of the month, sales on just the last day of the month, and also display the difference between the first and the last day sales. As a reminder, LOD expressions or level of detail expressions allow you to control the granularity or the level of detail of your expression. We usually resort to LODs when our viz or our charts have different levels of granularity than the calculations that we need. If you need an LOD expressions refresher, please check out another comprehensive tutorial I have on this topic. It starts from the basics and goes through the different types of LODs and the implications of the order of operations with LODs. I've also provided a link in the card above and description down below. Let's start by creating our monthly sales chart. Right-click drag order date onto columns, select our continuous date value for month, fourth from the bottom. Let's drag over sales onto rows. Now let's duplicate this view as a crosstab. Right-click, duplicate as crosstab. Now what we're seeing in here is the full month and the sales for the full month. What we want to be able to do is to extract just the first day of the month, the last day of the month, and the sales for each of those days. There is a way to do this using level of detail expressions. We can use the include LOD. So let's create a calculated field. Let's call this first of month. Let's add include. Now, since the detail that we really want is still within this particular date, we can simply use a curly brace and then include with no dimensions with it. So curly brace, include, just a colon. And for the first of the month, it's simply the first day that we have in our data source for this particular month. So min of order date. Let's click OK and display this. Let's right click drag, display the month. So what we are seeing in here is the breakdown of the first record, the first date in that particular month. January 2018 does not start with January 1st, and all this means is we don't have a record for January 1st or January 2nd. We can validate that by looking at the details. So click on this, view data, let's go to full data, and if we sort by order date, indeed the first record has a January 3 date. Let's close this. We can use a very similar logic for the last date of the month. And what we really mean in here is the last date based on our records. So let's duplicate this and let's edit. Let's call this last of month. And instead of minimum, it's simply just going to be a maximum. Let's click OK. Let's display this as well. So right click drag and let's display this. So we're seeing in here the first day of the month based on our records, the last day of the month based on our records. Using these dates, we can extract the sales for the first day of the month and the last day of the month. It's simply an if statement. So let's create that calculated field. So drop down, create calculated field. Let's call this first of month sales. So this is simply if order date is equal to the first of the month, then we simply want sales, then sales. Let's click OK. We're going to do something similar for the last day of the month sales. Another calculated field, last of month sales. I'm just going to copy over the same expression and we are simply going to change first of month to last of month. Click OK. So let's display these first in our charts. Go back to our chart. Let's take our first of month sales. We could create a shared axis chart by dragging last of month sales onto the existing first of month sales axis. So drag this over. We can make adjustments to our color later on if we need to. Now, since we already have our sales for the first of month and last of month, it's going to be easy for us to calculate the differential between these. So one more calculated field. Let's call this first and last day difference. First and last day difference. And this is simply the difference between our first of month sales minus our last of month sales. Let's click OK. And now we can display this. So drag that over. We can make adjustments to our mark. We can make this a bar chart. So selecting this pill and activating that marks card, we can change this from automatic to a bar. And we can also use this measure to determine the color. 
So we can have a diverging palette where you have different colors for positive and negative values. So control drag onto color, and this caps our ninth use case.